Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. I think you've noticed I like doing artist or digital artist websites, especially one page ones that highlight or showcase their artwork. Now, Johnson Tink from Malaysia, um, we're going to be using some of their artwork just to create a fake one page website. They've already got a website and I will be putting details for that in the description. Go and visit them. They are a fantastic artist. They've got over 1 million page views, over 30, nearly 32,000 people watching them and over 300 um, deviations or bits of art on their De Deviant Art website. But we're going to be using their artwork and I love the stuff they've created. Anyway, we're doing a, a web page which is mainly using scrolling effects and motion effects. And you can see an example of it that must have been playing to my side over here. Now, it's not going to be an overcomplicated video. You can all do this using Elementor free. You don't have to have Elementor Pro. I will be using Elementor Pro features, but you can do this with Elementor. Okay, by the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, subscribe and follow to keep up to date with everything to do with Elementor and WordPress. So I've already uploaded over to here some images um, from um, their DeviantArt website. Once you've logged in, you can download images. Always get permission from the artist before you do anything. I also took an image of some of their um, weapons they've got and I've added them in about six times or four times really so that I could get the individual bits of weapons because I'm going to show you something we're going to do really cool with that in a moment. Well, you probably saw it in the video anyway. And we also got some of their characters as well. Now, all of these are WebP. I recommend bulkresizephotos.com to optimize and compress your images because it's a really, really cool way to do it. And of course, make sure you've got optimization plugins on your website if you don't want to suffer any bloat. But I've got videos that cover that as well. So I've got a page called Fade at the moment. So I'm just going to clear away all of this junk at the moment. So we've got a blank page there. Really, really simple. There's going to be no menus or logos or anything like that. So let's have a go. We're going to put in one section and this section is just going to be one column. We're going to make sure it is a, uh, we're going to go with boxed. I'll go with a boxed of about uh, 600 for now. Column gap, no column gap. And in terms of height, I'm just going to say minimum height for now. Okay, something like that. In fact, we won't do minimum height. We'll go with fit to screen. Let's have a big, bold, brash entrance to the screen. Okay, the column position is going to be middle. I could go for top and the column position goes top. I could go bottom and it goes bottom, but we'll go with middle, okay? Now with regards to advanced, I'm just gonna zero the margin and padding. I will mess around with this later on. What I'm now gonna do is add in an image into the background. We're gonna go to style. We're going to go to the background type and we're gonna pick an image. Now I've got quite a few images here. Well, when I say quite a few, I've only got uh, in total, uh, let me get this right, one, two, three, four, five images, okay? Now, three of the images I'm going to be using for a certain placement with, um, uh, um, with the characters scrolling in as you scroll up and down the page. But I need to have a really bold image that, um, that greets you when you come to the page. So I'm going to go for this one here. I really love this image here. It's like a, a desolate like spaceship, kind of like flying in the air like a warship. I, and I just love artwork. I am crazy about artwork. We're going to make this a center center. We are going to make this a fixed and we're going to say no repeat and we're going to make this a cover. Now, because I've downloaded this from the DeviantArt website, I have not got full blown amazing resolution. It's only going to be as good as what you're allowed to download. However, this is a good intro into the website. Now, the image has got some black bars at the top and bottom. For the example of what I'm showing you here, I am not fussed by that whatsoever, okay? It would have been nice without, but I'm not overly fussed by that. We're now going to drop in a header into the middle of the page. And we're just going to put the initials JT uh, for Johnson Tink. We're going to center it, and I'm going to go to style, and I'm going to make this white. I'm going to go to typography, and I'm going to pick my favorite um, font at the moment for when you're doing funky stuff, Orbitron. I'm going to go with REM and I'm going to make this to be about a six. Six is too small. Let's go with 10. 10 is too small. Let's go with 20 then. There we go. We'll go with a 20. And I'm going to make the weight of this be 900. And I'm going to just check the bold. Yeah, we'll go with 900. I don't think that's much. Yeah, there you go. 900 looks better. So we have JT come through there. I hope this is all making sense so far. Nothing scientific amazing going on here at the moment. I'm now just going to duplicate this and I'm going to change this now to say 
his name. And I want to make sure I get the spelling absolutely right there. It's always a handy thing, by the way, if you are having to fill in a website, if you can make notes with what other wording you're going to put on it, have it in notepad, text editor, whatever you want. So we've put his name Johnson Ting. Obviously, the wording's too big for what we're doing here. So I'm now going to go to style, go back to typography, and I'm going to change this to be about 10 is too small. Let's just drop it down until it is kind of in line. I'm just going to move myself out the way a little bit there. I'm still here, by the way. Okay, and I'm just going to drop that to be about that big there. Okay, so it's still keeping with the theme of the lettering above. But I'm going to drop the style as well to be about 600. So it's not as bold. Mm, yeah, we'll go with 500. Okay, so JT Johnson Ting. Now at the moment, the wording here is not as easy to read as the wording, the lettering at the top. Now, I mean, as you scroll up and down, because this section, the image, is set to be a fixed attachment, it means the image is fixed. And as you scroll up and down, the words will move. If you had gone with scroll, the image will move in line with the scrolling, but we, I, I want it to be a fixed one there like that, okay? Now the wording is clearer when you get to that bit over there, but it's not so great here at the moment, okay? So I need to have a think about, maybe I wanna give it a bit of a backing color, maybe I wanna change the blending and go with an overlay. Now the overlay there, is quite nice, I must say. Okay, and because of that, I'm going to go back to typography and I'm now going to make this be about 900. I'm going to make it, no, not 900, we'll go with 700. So it's a bit thicker. And I'm also going to increase the size a little bit as well there. Okay, so the wording comes in, you can see it there. And as you scroll up and down, it's there, but it's not kind of, how shall I put it? It's not in your face. Put it that way, okay? Now, the first lettering, the JT at the top there, we're gonna to go to advanced and we're gonna give it a motion effect of entering, which it's kind of fades in and down like that, okay? And the Johnson Ting lettering at the bottom, we're gonna to go to advanced motion effect. I'm gonna say fade in up like that. So they should technically come in at the same time. Let's just check that, okay? Just to see how that looks when we do a preview like that. That's looking fine so far. And if we do a preview changes, that's okay. All right, that's okay. It, it is white and then it transforms into the overlay. So I'm okay with that. Let's just close the preview down. How does it look in mobile? This is really important. Don't just do section, 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 and then worry about your mobile at the end. I always recommend you do your mobile at the same time. So we're gonna go to mobile view, okay? Like so. And here we now get to the mobile view. Now I'm gonna go to the section. Now I'm not doing it here. I would very strongly recommend that the image I picked here, I have another copy of the image here. So I'll have a copy of this image. And at the moment, this image is um, 960 by 540 in pixels, okay? I would, re I would add in a copy of this image and I would edit it and I would scale that image to maybe be something like uh, 400 in width. And the reason you wanna do that it's because then when you load on the mobile for your page speed insights, your mobile view will now be using that image instead. And that does help your page speed insights. Trust me, massively, it does. And a lot of people don't know this. There's your desktop, there's the image. When you go to mobile, it's the same image, but can you see it's now grayed? This means you're allowed to pick an alternate image. You could either be a different size or a completely different image. People don't realize that you can have a completely different image without having to do another section and then say in desktop, hide that one in mobile, hide that one with responsive um, mode. You know, over here, when you go to advanced and responsive, which is hide on desktop, tablet, mobile. No, you don't need to worry about that. But we're not going to change it because we're just doing it as an example video here. We're going to do the heading mode. Go to style, go to typography. At the minute, it's REM 20. Let's change that to be REM 10. Yeah, okay, REM10, I quite like that. It's quite big and bold. In fact, we'll go with eight, not too big. And for the writing below, which was uh, an REM of 4.4, we'll put it back to REM and we'll change it to a three. And I'm just gonna shrink it to be about 2.5. Now at the moment, because the image is a certain size, we're, it's, we're losing some of that imagery and it's too close to the top and bottom of the margin. So we're gonna to go to this section and for the mobile, zero, zero, everything out again. But for the mobile, I'm gonna say, give me about 50 at the top and about 50 at the bottom. 
and I, and and this is what I mean, Bo. Now, if you had a if you had a different sized image, you'd see the ship a lot better. Okay, but I'm just making the point here. Always try and think about what you're doing. And I am going to say 15 on the left and 15 on the right as well. It's good practice to get your padding in right now because then you can just copy the section and duplicate it and go on and on and on and on. So you've done all the homework for section one. And if you had another image that looked like that or it worked in the same way, you would just replicate it. Okay, look, let's crack on. Right, so there's, there's our first section. I'm now just going to duplicate that section. Okay, in fact, I won't duplicate it. I won't duplicate it. I'm going to do a brand new section and this is going to be one column again. Okay, I'm going to make the backing for this be a black color like so. So it's pure black. So it hopefully blends in better with um, the black that we had at the bottom there anyway. Now into here, I'm going to now start adding in quite a few things. The first thing we're going to do is add in some wording. And I'm, I've put some wording in it already here, which was, and um, we're just going to pop in a header over here. We'll pop that wording in. So it's like a quote, basically, okay? Um, we're just gonna go over here, we're gonna give it a white font, and again, I'm gonna go with Orbitron. I mean, you could go with Lato, I could go with whatever I want, but I'm gonna go with Orbitron again. I'm gonna go with REM, always do REM, REM when you do fonts. EM or REM, don't do pixels, save pixels for images and things like that. So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna give this a five, that's way too big, let's go with three, two two yeah we'll go with two and we'll give it a 400 okay digital design is like painting except the painting the paint never dries that's exactly what digital art is okay right let's just go to content let's just put it in the center like so now at the moment this section right um is full it's not full width sorry it's a box but it hasn't been defined so i'm going to make this section be about uh, 600 600 is too small, let's go with 800. There we go, we'll go with 800, okay? And I'm gonna say this has got no gap and the height of this is a minimum height and I've set it to zero because I like to control how it looks. We're then gonna go to the, uh, for the section, sorry, we're then gonna go to the advanced tab, zero, zero, everything out, and for the padding, I'm gonna say 50 and 50. In fact, we won't do 50, I'm gonna go with 100. We'll go with 100, okay? So we get a bit of lettering there, okay? So we have the logo at the top, or the fake logo I've created, image, and then we've got a bit of wording there. Okay, cool, that's fine. Let's just double check that in the mobile view. Remember what I said, always check in the mobile view. Yet the 50-50 works for me there. I'm just now just gonna make sure that we have, um, in fact, I'm gonna put the 50 in again. No, the 100, sorry, it's not a, unlink. All right, 100, 1001, what am I doing there? Can you imagine a 1001? How big do you need it to be? Uh, 15, there we go. So 15 padding on the left and right, and the style for this, I'm just gonna make this be REM, and we'll go with two, and then I'll just start to shrink it to be something like that. That kind of, uh, I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna go with something like, that's a bit too small now, isn't it? There we go, something like that, 1.5. I'm okay with that now. Let's move on to the next section, okay? We're not wasting time on this. Let's now just create another section. This section, again, is gonna be a single column. I could, in a way, just duplicate what we had be before, in fact. So we'll just duplicate it. I'm gonna get rid of the text. It's already got the padding in there of 100 and the 15 left and right as well. So this is where it's good. You get it right, you check it in mobile, you duplicate it, and it's already got the settings done for you and the color scheme, etc., and things like that. Okay, we're now gonna add in a image. We're gonna drop an image in here, and we're gonna pick one of the characters, and one of the characters I'm gonna go for is going to be, there we go, we're gonna go with this, this image here. Uh, this is one of the images from their website, and all I did was take it into Canva, cut away the background so I had a nice looking image there. We're gonna set this to be a full image so we get the full resolution. We've got the alignment and the pixels here. I'm gonna go with 250 as well. I'm gonna to go to the CSS filter though and I'm just gonna increase the contrast ever so slightly, increase the brightness as well, like so. So just like we're getting a bit of the shine effect there, okay? You can mess around with the color scheme if you so want. You can add a bit of a hint onto there and completely change it, but I won't disrespect what Johnson Tinger's done. I'm gonna leave that like that. Now, the reason I've done this is because I'm gonna add in some motion effect, okay? This image that I've added in, 
I'm gonna go to advanced, I'm gonna go to motion effect, and I'm gonna say this is gonna fade in up. So as you scroll down, it's gonna come up, okay? In fact, we won't do fading up, it's just gonna fade in like that, okay? When you get to it, it just fades in. Now, left and right of this, there's gonna be the weapons. And the weapons, as you scroll down, are going to kind of like rotate. Get my fingers right, they're gonna rotate, okay? Let me move myself there a little bit. So let's add in the next weapon. In fact, before you do that, you want to go to advanced, you want to go to positioning, and you want to make the positioning for this be custom. Okay, now as soon as I do that, it's kind of now gone and sat there. Don't worry about that yet, okay? We're going to mess around with this. So I'm going to go to the column, okay? You click on the column, go to horizontal align, and I'm going to say make it center. And it's now in the center of that column because there's nothing else in there. So it just goes pure into the center. It's a great way to do or a great thing to do without having to use inner sections. You can add lots of content, and then use the custom setting to position them. You can have five things in a line next door, next door to one another, rather than inner sections, which can affect your page speed score. We're gonna add in another image. In fact, I'm just gonna duplicate this image. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. So now in total, I have got five images. I'm gonna go to the very first one, and I'm gonna change the content. And I am going to pick, um, I'm going to pick uh, this axe here. Okay, so I'm going to pick that axe there. I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to pick that sword there. Now, at the moment, these images aren't the right size. Don't worry about that. I'm just picking my images at the moment. I'm going to go to my media library now and I picked this axe. I now want this axe, but I need to edit it and I want to flip it horizontal like that and save. And I want to go to this sword, and that sword actually is in the right orientation, or is it? No, it's not, it's in the wrong orientation. Edit that and flip like that and save. And close that down. Go back over here, and I'm just going to refresh the page to make sure it pulls it through correctly. Okay, so when we go down here, I'm now going to pick this image here, and I'm now going to pick the second uh, axe, which is that one. And I'm going to go down to this person here and I'm gonna pick the other sword. I've actually done it in the wrong order. So that one needs to be uh, moved to be like that. There we go. Oh, I'll do it in a moment. Don't worry, we'll do the navigator and I'll mess around with it. Okay, right. So we now have, um, what I'm, well, basically what I'm now gonna do is resize these images. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to style and I'm now just gonna drop this to be about 100. Let's go with 100 in fact. We'll go with 100 there and 100 for the max. Now these swords are actually going to be on this side and they're going to be on the other side. So I did it in the wrong order. But if you go to Navigator, okay, I can click on these images. So I'm going to drop this image to be there, drop that image to be there, pick this image up and put it over there, and then pick this image up and put it over there. It helps if you name them actually. You know, that's one thing um, I haven't done here. Um, and I would say name them is a good way to go if you're trying to control how things look. Right, now this one here at the moment, Okay, we're gonna to go to advanced. We're gonna to go to positioning, okay? And I am now gonna custom position this into how it's going to look, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to position and I'm gonna say, you have the choice of absolute or fixed. If you go with fixed, right, no matter where you scroll up and down the screen, that ax will always be there, okay? Absolute though allows you to fix in a certain part of the screen but it will only be for that section. And when you move on to the next section, it will no longer be there, okay? So I'm gonna take this ax and look, I can pick it up. A lot of people don't realize this, but if I go here and I go down to, well, advanced, I go to positioning and I go to absolute, look, I can pick it up. So I'm now just gonna pop this to be about uh, here. So now I'm gonna click on this image here, okay? I'm going to go to motion effects and we're going to go to scrolling effects and we're going to go to rotate and already it's rotated a bit. I can undo it, remove it by hitting the anti-clockwise arrow. I'm instead, sorry, do I move myself here? I'm instead going to say that this is going to move to the left and the speed of it I'm going to say is about, let's go with five. So let's just see what happens now. Can you see that? It's rotating, but it kind of starts to rotate all the way, and I don't really want it to do that. So I'm going to say from the top, put it at 56%. So let me just see what happens now. There you go, it stops. 
So that's now telling me I went the wrong way. I actually want to go like that maybe. So if I just set it to be like that, okay. There you go. Can you see now? It's straight and then it moves. Yeah, are we okay with that? So I set that two left, five, 50, 100. Let's repeat it over here. So now let's do this sword. So we're going to go to the left, five, and we're going to go with again, 50. Now, slight problem here is that is it doesn't really scroll until you view it at a certain point. So the axe is going to move before you have the bottom sword moves, but it will move. It just moves it slightly out of tune. So one moves and then the other moves like that. Um, can you undo that? Yes, you can. It's just a little bit kind of like, like if I do that, okay, it's not going to move until you're way down. If I do like 32%, uh, okay, it's kind of like it, it will, it, it, it moves, but now it's moving at a really weird angle, which kind of annoys what I was trying to achieve. So I'm just going to pop this to be about 49. So it moves, but it's, it's, I'm, I hope this is making sense. It moves, but not perfectly in line with the other one. Okay, let's update it. Let's now preview this. So the logo's come down. There's a change. We have this wording. We have, you probably didn't miss it, but they faded in there. And as you scroll down, it's not going to work completely yet because we haven't, I haven't got enough content at the bottom to scroll down, but we will get there in a moment. Okay, so, so it is working. We just haven't got there. But how does this look on the mobile? So let's look at the mobile view. Okay, now this is where it's all over the place now, right? So look, we've got to now go to our navigator, go to our person in the middle, and we now have to just change their size. So we're going to put them onto pixel and we are going to make them be about, uh, we're going to go with pixel and we're going to make them 100. And we're going to go with about, uh, we'll go with 200. I think we should stick to 200 there. We'll go with 200, okay? Now, this is where we now have to pick up the individual pieces. So the first axe, okay, I'm going to pick it up and I'm now going to move it to kind of be about here. I'm going to make this be about uh, 20, but I'll go with 30. And in fact, we'll go with 40. I love how I just changed my mind. Oh, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. And I'm now just going to position this to be about here. We'll pick that image and I'm going to go to style. And I'm going to just uh, shrink it down to be about there, 54 will do. And I'm just going to use the orientation here to now just get it in a certain place, okay? So when I update that, what you will get is like, as you're scrolling up and down, things are just moving, okay? So again, we're just getting a bit of an effect going on there. Right, let's just crack on now. Right, so now let's add in another section. We're just going to go down, click the section for a new section. And we're going to have two columns this time. We're going to go in and I'm going to make the background of this be another one of the images. And I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to go for this image here. Okay. Um, like so. I'm going to make this a center center. Uh, this is going to be a fixed again. This is going to be no repeat and it's going to be a cover image. I'm going to go into advanced, zero, zero everything out. In fact, before I do that, go to layout. It's, this is going to be a box of uh, 1,000 in terms of width. Um, it's going to have no gap and the height will be a minimum height. We go to advanced for the section and I'm going to say uh, 200 and 200. Okay, just so we get a nice impact of the image. In fact, I'm going to go bigger. Let's go with 300 and 300. Okay, so the contents within there. I'm then going to drop in. I'm going to actually go, what will I do? I'm going to copy this header here because it's already been done and I'm going to drop it into over here. Okay, like so. It's not very clear because it's kind of white on, on top of a background there, but I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. I'm going to pick up another quote and I'm just going to drop it in. Okay, and I'm going to left align the text over here and I'm now going to give the column a bit of shading. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to the style and I'm going to give it a dark background like that. But I'm now then going to just affect the transparency of it. So I'm just going to give it a bit of shading there like that. I'm going to go to advanced. This is for the column. We're still in the column. OK, not the section. 
with the text, but we're in the column. I'm going to go to padding and I'm just going to say, give me about 20 pixels up and down all the way around. Okay. Um, and I might actually say the font here now, let's go with Lato instead. Uh, Lato, no, let's go with Roboto. I think Roboto works better with Orbitron. Yeah, Roboto. Um, and we're just going to give it a bit of letter spacing like that. And we're just going to do the line height as well. So something like 1.2. Okay, we'll go with that for now, okay? I'm just trying to show you how this is all working, by the way, right? We are then going to make a copy of that image. And I'm now just going to place that over there. It's exactly the same image we had before. I'm going to go over here to the column and I'm going to make this be a center within the column. Okay. I am going to make this bigger though, this image. So I'm going to go to the styling and I'm going to make it be about 300 and 300 there as well. Okay. Um, what I will now do is change this image. And what's going to happen is that image will appear as you scroll on the page. Let's go to the image. And I instead, I'm going to pick uh, this person here. Okay, so we're going to have like a warrior appear, like so. I'm now thinking that maybe this image in the background is a little bit too light. Let me just check what other images I got. That's a dark one. Dark, dark. How does that one look? Let's just insert and try it. How does that look? Yeah, I think that's a bit of a different image, isn't it? No, we're going to stick to the one we had before. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that, okay? Now, this image at the minute fades in, right? It's got the same motion effect that we had before, fade in normal. But we're now going to add in a scroll effect. And we're going to go for transparency. And what is going to happen is that this is going to fade in, okay? And it's going to be a level 10 because I want it to be a proper fade in. Now, if I do that, and I set this to be like that. Watch what happens. Sorry, it's the wrong way around. I want to go bottom and then set the top to also be. So, so what should happen is, as you scroll down, it's completely transparent. And what happens is it then fades in to view. Can you see that there? I mean, it is a little bit, um, in fact, I'm probably going to do that. There we go. So it fades into view. Does that make sense? So it's not there. And then it appears from transparent. So we've gone from a 0% to 57% at the top there. Probably go to 50% here. I always have to play around with these to get it spot on because my brain sometimes goes, well, do I want to go this way or that way? Experiment a bit. So I am going to go in here for the motion effect on here. And I am going to say that this at the minute is a fade in down. So it's actually going to fade in down. And as it, so as you scroll in, let me just show you what I mean there. So as you scroll down, okay, can you see that? It appeared, it, it faded in down, but I am going to go with a slower effect. I find that's a little bit too fast. So we're going to go with the slow. Okay, so as you come down, it kind of fades in slow. Does that make sense what I'm saying there? It fades in slow. Okay, um, you could even argue what was the point of the scrolling effect then. But what that means is that once it is scrolled, it actually disappears as you're looking up and down. So that's why I've got the scrolling effect. So it fades in, but once it's faded in, it will be there. And by having a scrolling effect, it kind of appears and disappears. Right, let's now duplicate this entire section like so. Okay, and I'm now gonna pick this box up and just swap the two, in fact, no. Whoa, 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 dude, what are you doing? Mobile, check the mobile view. Let's go to mobile, okay. So what you're now going to have is you've got your image. Again, you would have a different sized image. You'd probably go to your section. And you won't have 300 by 300. You might have 100 by 100, for instance, in terms of padding. Your image will appear, okay, and it disappears as you scroll up and down. And then you've got your text. And I'm going to go to column two, and I'm going to say, give me some padding. Yeah, 50 there, okay? Um, I don't need to worry about the inside of this because there's already some padding within it inside, but I just increase the size there. So this image is going to kind of like come in, but it will, every time you scroll back up, it starts to disappear out of view. Right, now we've done that. Now we can finish off with the last two sections. So let's duplicate. Let's now swap this over. So column one is now going to be column, well, column two becomes column one and column one becomes column two. Let's get in some different text even let's get it there so let's get that text let's just pop that in 
Again, I'm not thinking too much about the texture. I'm just trying to get over how we've done this. I'm now going to put in a different image. We're going to go with uh, this one. Okay, so again, we get that slide in effect of someone coming in from above. We're going to click on the section and we're going to change the image to B. This time we will go for this image uh, over, let me just check. Do you want to go with that image? Yeah, we want to go with that image. So again, we get that image coming in. Now, bear in mind though, because these are images that we are dropping in, you can go to style. You can go to your, you know, you know, you can make them a bit more bolder or grander or more lighter or whatever you want to do there. So I'm going to make this lighter. And I'm going to do the same for this one as well with the styling. Because I do think that sometimes you just want them to kind of, you want to just like, you want to get the effect over, over who they are and what they're about. And you want them to stand out as well. So again, there we go. We've got that image coming in. Now I'm going to copy this one. Not the one below, because I now want it to flip back to that one. But before we do that, we are going to add in another section. So I'm going to go right back to the top and I'm going to copy the very first section. And we're going to drop it in here. It's got all the settings, everything's in, all the padding, everything is in. The only thing that's different though is that is the text. So I'm now going to pick up the text we had here, copy that. I'm going to drop that text into here. Again, remember, once you've done it once, you don't have to keep doing it over and over and over again. I'm going to actually just put here um, this text here, which is deviant 10 plus years. So that's how long Johnson Ting's been doing this. Just put in a break there or a paragraph because I know some people say, hey, what are you doing that for? We're going to just pop that to be a 10. In fact, we'll just go over here and copy that, uh, the style for this heading number two. And we're just going to paste that style over there. OK, so we get that we get that slight transparency effect. And now I'm just going to change this image to be we'll go with this one here, the slightly darker image with like a skeleton face there. So we get deviant 10 years. Now, this is actually OK being white, in my opinion. So we're going to go here, go to typography. Sorry, blend mode lead as normal. I'm happy with that being. Uh, deviant 10 years. I'm, I'm fine with that. OK, now let's go back up to over here. And we're going to copy section number two. We're going to go down and we're going to paste this here. You know the drill. You go in, you change your background. We're going to pick this one instead. OK, we're going to change the character. OK, because they've already got all the settings. We're going to go with this person here now like that. In fact, that person is facing the wrong direction. So we're going to go here, edit image. We're going to flip it horizontal, hit save, close that, go back to our page, refresh the page. This is all real time. No, this is recorded. It's all real time. OK, we go down, 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 down. That person is now facing the right way. Let's get in some different text now, which is this one. And we're just going to pop that text in. OK, so again, we're getting the same effect come in this image. I think we could do a bit of different styling for them. Um, do they need to be brighter? Yeah, I think they could do it being brighter. And I think the it looks like it's red hot steel swords or weapons. They're almost like lightsabers, aren't they? God, I love Star Wars. Right. So then we got our stuff going like that. And what I'm now going to do is just finish off with a very basic section at the bottom. It's just going to be a black section like that. It's going to have some padding. I'm just going to say there'll be about, uh, we'll go 50, 15, 50. I'm only doing 15, 15 so it remembers it when you get to the mobile. We're just going to go over here, copy this text, uh, drop this in here, paste like that, go to style, pop this to be about uh, 2. We'll go with 2. Go with 2. Uh, and I'm now just going to pop in their email address or in fact their website. So if you do want to go and view them and you want to see who Johnson Ting is, here's their website. It's in the description like that. Uh, we'll just put a link there as well. So it's now a hyperlink. And what we now have is a website. So I am now going to just take myself out of view. Well, I will after I've done previews. Let's go to preview. And I'm going to drop myself out of view. I'll be back in a moment. OK, so I'm dropping myself out of view. And let's just do that again. So you can see what's happening there. The wording comes in. OK, you scroll down. 
we get these people fading. And again, look, I want to show you that effect. Okay, look. When they scroll down, they fade in, and then they start to scroll. Okay, you get you get that nice little scroll effect. That person appears. Maybe that needs a little bit of shifting because they kind of appeared a bit um not glitchy, but they kind of appeared and stopped for a moment. Look, look, as you scroll down, they disappear. They fade out of view. Here we go. The next person appears. See that? And then we get the next, well, we get the lettering appear. And then we get the next one here, like that. And then we get the bottom. So that's kind of like, I think, a really nice way of just doing what I think is a really clean and cool looking one page website. Look, um, scrolling effects, motion effects, don't overuse them. Always check your page speed, insights, scores. Make sure you size your images correctly, WebP, all of that. And be a little bit creative. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you soon.